What's up guys? This is uh, not the most positive of uh, videos. I'm not, I don't have anything written down. I didn't plan on doing this video because I didn't know that this had happened until uh, till just recently. Yes, it's late. I have no voice as usual. I probably look like shit. Don't really care. Came home from school tonight. I uh, wanted to catch up on some Impact Wrestling. Oh yes, even though that doesn't seem to be the popular thing to do right now. But I'm catching up on Impact Wrestling, which means I'm on this computer right here talking to my buddy Deluxe Man, who everybody should go and subscribe to, obviously. Gives me the news. Chris Jericho has been suspended. And of course, my immediate reaction, having shit tons of respect for Jericho, well, what the hell? What the fuck happened? Big WHAT with a bunch of exclamation point comes back to me, says, you know, Jericho did some stupid shit in Brazil. And then I went and looked it up, and then Alex sent me what he found as well. Apparently, even after being informed that desecration of the Brazilian flag is a criminal offense, punishable by a prison incarceration, Jericho thought it would be a great idea in a match with Punk to grab the Brazilian flag that CM Punk, eh, CM Punk, sorry, was waving and toss it around the ring and kick it around and do do whatever other disrespectful things to it. From the reports that I've read and the reports that I've been sent, apparently the police, you know, quote unquote, stormed the ring, stopped the match immediately, uh, threatened Jericho with incarceration to the point where he had to grab a microphone and give a full apology, etc., 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 so that he wouldn't be uh, immediately, you know, sent to prison in Brazil. Uh, and only then was the match allowed to continue and the show allowed to continue. Now Jericho has been post, uh, not postponed, suspended indefinitely. Now most people might not think that that's a big deal, seeing as he was going to be done soon and go touring with Fozzie anyway. But it is, because he just started a good rivalry with Orton. This was going to get him a nice sweet spot on the card. And you have to think, in a match with Orton, who makes everybody else look like gold, they, WWE would give him a fine send-off as he goes and does his thing with Fozzie and ends this little mini-run that he's been doing. He's helped Punk. He's, uh, you know, he's done what he's done. He gave some legitimacy to SmackDown for a little bit. And you got to figure, somewhere along the line, because he hasn't won a match yet, WWE would have given him a thank you, and my prediction was going to be that No Way Out with Randy Orton was going to be that thank you victory. Now he goes out with no pomp, no circumstance, leaves the wrestling world more or less in a disgraceful fashion, um, and goes on to tour with Fozzie, which, yes, is an entirely different element, an entirely different arena, but news travels fast. We all know this. We are the YWC. We know how fast news spreads. Um... Not mad at the cops in Brazil. Obviously, if they have a law that states desecrating the flag is uh, is a crime punishable by imprisonment, obviously they're going to enforce that. Not mad at the WWE because by all accounts and all reports, Chris Jericho was fully made aware of the law and the rules and what would happen if he did anything. Uh, not mad at Jericho because anywhere else, you know, flags in the WWE have been used for years. We've had flag on a pole matches. We've had, you know, remember back in the day, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Um, a lot of that was sort of a Canada versus US thing where Shawn Michaels pulled such lovely stunts as, you know, humping our flag and sticking it up his nose, etc. So you have to think anywhere else this would just would have made Jericho a, a great heel and a heat magnet and whatever. But you don't go in there knowing that it's illegal and do it anyway and think you're think you're whatever, really. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. That's about it. That's where I sit at this particular point. Um, don't know what else to say. Obviously Jericho's going to be off our screen. Obviously that fucks Orton out of whatever great match they were going to have it over the limit, or not over the limit, at, uh, at No Way Out, so they'll have to do some creative writing around Orton now to give him something to do, or, you know, toss him back in there with Sheamus or whatever. Um... I really don't know what to say. I, like I say, guys, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm just, as a wrestling fan, as a Canadian wrestling fan at that, and I know it's not all about where you're from, but sometimes it is. As a wrestling fan, as a Canadian wrestling fan, um, disappointed. Disappointed is the word. Um, 
first person that immediately came to my mind was uh, was Kara here in the YWC, uh, also known as Emo Kitty Cat with a bunch of X's and O's, probably one of the biggest Jericoholics I know. Um, so if I'm feeling disappointed, I can't imagine how she's feeling right now. Um, thanks to Deluxe Man for you know popping up and giving me this little this little tidbit of information. I, uh, I guys, I don't know what to to say. Um, was it a dumb thing to do? Probably, but it was only dumb because of where they were. If it had been in the States and he'd been, you know, say Jericho had had a match against the All-American, American, American, and he had done the equivalent of what Shawn Michaels did to Bret Hart with the American flag, yeah, it would have been shunned and it would have been controversial, but I'm pretty sure it would have been okayed in some storyline or some form or fashion, but uh, it was dumb. It was dumb. I know. Uh, I know the stars get caught up in the heat of the moment, and and that sort of thing. I uh, I don't know what to say, really. I uh, I'm rambling now because I really don't know what to say. Um, Jericho's not going to be on our television screen. That's that's a lose 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 for everybody. I mean the the history and 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 career that Jericho's had. You know, in the independents, in Japan, in Canada, in WCW, ECW, WWE. Um, the help he could have given to the younger stars, the great matches he could have had with the main eventers before he decided to leave again and do his thing with Fozzie because he is a multifaceted uh, entertainer, you know, dancer, musician, actor, wrestler. Um, the contributions he could have made before he left or on his way out or however you want to say it could have been could have been countless. And because of one bad bit of judgment, he's going out not with a roar, but with a whimper. And that's that's just sad. And that, you know, at 3.30 a.m. on Friday morning, when I'm wondering what's going to happen on SmackDown tonight, <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I've got at this point. It's just uh, the whole situation is disappointing and sad. That's about it. You guys take care. I'll talk to you later. I've got uh, hopefully a lot more uplifting videos coming up in the next couple of days, but uh, till then, everybody take care. Bye.